Hello. So this is where I answer some of the questions that I got. By some, I mean all of them, but... If you have any more or you didn't notice the last video, feel free to make additions. I'll just preface this video with that. Additionally, I just came back from four hours of ITG, and when you, uh, the videos eventually come up, you'll see what I did, but I am pretty friggin' tired, so I'll preface this with that. I'm going off the cuff, so I'm pretty much answering these from my heart or whatever. But anyway, we'll just go in the order I got them. Start with Pato. Okay, first question is, how many years have I been playing ITG slash DDR? Uh, that is a good question. Um, I think somewhere between six and seven. I remember my first game I played Incognito Easy. I don't know why I remember that. And that machine, someone beat it in with a baseball bat. So I lost my first machine and then went on all sorts of adventures and I've met some interesting people. But six to seven years. Uh, how long did it take me to learn Foreground and Lua stuff? Well, I'm always learning. So I've... I will say that I've been making them for, eh, like, a little more than a year. Like, I didn't start posting them or anything until three, four months in, and even those first few were really shitty. You can look at them if you want, but I feel like I should post the first completed one I ever made, just so you can laugh at it. Yeah, I very well might do that at some point. But... I'm still learning, I've been working on them for a year and a third, maybe. What's three times three? Oh ho ho, you're making a Cerno reference. It's nine. Yep, there you go. Ha ha, very funny. Uh, what do I hope to accomplish this year? Well, I've got a lot of work. I'm a junior in computer science right now, so I want to do as well as I've been doing, um, have some good experience in the summer, and I guess that's it, really. Set myself up for a good future. Which goes right into the next question quite well, actually. What do I think the future holds for me? Uh, more programming, I guess. Uh, other than that, I mean... My thing has been that I'm really flexible and open to ideas as they come and experiences, so there will probably be programming. I hope to continue playing dance games. I love them. Uh, hopefully I don't have a tragic leg accident or something, but for sure more programming. <laughs> okay, we'll move on to Bloop then. Scroll up a little bit. Okay, uh, I replied to your thing, if you didn't see it in the last video, uh, you need me and need me and whatever else, yeah, I'm never going to pass that. There's actually another 16 I have a better chance of passing, that would be Controlled Chaos, I think from like the same, yeah, I'll put a comment or something in the description, but anyway. Do I find charts like Final Destination tiring? Well, for one, Final Destination's like a mid-upper 14 and not a 15. I've been working on conserving my energy at the expense of my scores. Like, I got a 78 on that, which is really quite bad. Especially since I started off, like, the first eighth with, like, really good FA, but... I didn't find it very tiring because I was basically just conserving energy all the way. So I had enough to force myself through the end run. Uh, not really. I actually find Pendulum Charts more tiring and Dragon Force. What's my favorite non-gimmick pack? That is a really good question. My favorite charts are basically bits and pieces from, like, everything. Favorite pack? Um... Uh, I'm still playing Speed Core 1 charts, so I guess that. Even though there's Speed Core 2 and 3 is in the works. But, yeah, I would be better off answering what is my favorite chart if you'd like to ask that as a follow-up question. And I've already answered the words you need. Okay, and finally we have Angel Star. What is the hardest chart you played in ITG and PIU? Uh, the hardest chart 
in ITG? Well, you're not gonna find out yet because the video is incoming in a little while. Uh, from what you've seen, I would have to say Winnipeg is fucking over because that was pretty tiring. Uh, Speedcore Artists was pretty hard too. Yeah, I'm still kind of in the low 15 range, but yeah, yeah Final Destination Need for Speed are not 15s. And Pump It Up. Okay, the thing with Pump It Up is I'm not very good at it. Um, there was this 121, I think it was like Fire or something. Yeah, I think I did like Fire on like the 8th. Uh, if I look at, I think I did like in that one Pump It Up video. I filmed, I think, I did like the tell one. Let me look at that and let me keep rambling at the same time. See, the thing with pump is, I'd be happy to play pump more, but all the pump machines around me are really terrible because the pads are just completely dilapidated, to say the least. So I don't get to play much pump. The thing is that one day I went to 8 on the break, those pads are good, so I was able to actually pass things. Pump crossovers just don't work for me. I'm horrible at them. It'll be something I work towards. But anyway, I'm on the video now, and the hardest pump song I have passed is indeed... Come on, title of the song. Where are you? Oh, speaking of pump, though, Chinatown Fair is going to have pump infinity. Oh, that doesn't even help. I can't see. Chinatown Fair is going to have pump infinity, I think. That's what it's called. I hope so, because I'm going to sound like an idiot. Okay, yeah, it's called Hello, William. But anyway, I am pretty convinced I want to partake in some Pump Infinity, because this is a kind of a funny story, but you know that helicopter chart that I made a while ago? I don't think Angel Star would know, but I made this helicopter gimmick chart a while ago, and apparently an offshoot of it is going to be one of the missions, so I really want to get to the point where I can play that, because I feel like if I've inspired something in an actual commercial game, I feel like I would at least need to take a video of it. But, uh, major thanks to Taro for that. I'm not sure if you're going to be watching this, but... Well, if you are, thanks. Uh, yeah, I'm very happy about that. But anyway, yeah. Hello William on Very Hard, I think that's like a, the 9, or special thanks to Fire on the like the 8 or the 9, because that was a pain, because some of the patterns on that were kind of strange because of the crossovers, so I could see that as maybe the hardest, even though the level is lower. Okay, favorite song in ITG, oh, yes, okay, so this is what happens when I just read them on the cuff, because... I guess, Bloop, you don't have to ask that one anymore, but my favorite song in ITG, that's really difficult. Um, well, if you go by what I keep coming back to, even though I have no real reason to be playing them anymore, just because I've either outgrown them difficulty-wise, or there are new charts of kind of the same nature, but I really like Love or Lies, it's kind of like an easy, chill-out song. Uh, G-Pop's Go Reimu even though everyone likes the one that's a 13 better. I really hate the gimmicks in the 13 one, so I like G-Pops better. Um, what else do I enjoy? Um, I like my Gongam style chart, because it's so stupid. It like, goes around the scale. Like, like, you know how there are the meters, and it just goes from like full to empty? Like, I'd say Gongam style goes beyond empty, all the way around, back to full. Of entertainment just because of that. I also like Destination of the Heart. Mind you, I haven't really scored well enough to make another video of it, but it sounds so nice. I, It's strange. I also really like the Space Invader, too. I'm giving like, so many options here. I can't really say I have one favorite, kind of going back to the um, keeping myself open. One favorite is difficult for me to have. And finally, what's 1 plus 1? Well, at least it's not a Cerno reference. 1 plus 1 is either 2 if you're adding, if you're merging them together, it's 11. And, like I said earlier, if you've got any more questions, feel free. Many thanks to the three of you for asking. And... Oh, also, I may as well add, I'm not sure if anyone actually wants to hear this, but... 
It depends on who's working at the arcade I play in ITG now, whether I can film or not, so I just have to wait for the proper people's shift, so there will be ITG videos again. Uh, DDR is not a big deal because Chinatown Fair, they're really chill there. So anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for bearing all of this. And if you've got any more, I'd love to make a part two. Yes, that's it for now.